sir. Let's talk about all the users onboarding into Polkadot. That whole where all the users FUD is pretty much gonna vaporize. And the common strategy between all of Polkadot's L1s onboarding real users? Use Polkadot's tech to provide value to existing networks. Blockchain networks, Web2 networks, doesn't matter. I'm just leaving the Manta offices in New York City where I spoke to Kenny Lee for Space Monkeys about the 130,000 zero knowledge soul bound tokens they've minted in the last month for users on Binance Smart Chain, Arbitrage and a couple of Web2 projects. And so out of those 130,000, about 80, 90,000 of them are KYC verified. So those are like real, real people. Exactly, yeah, right? And in, in a world of airdrop hunters, right? Finding the real people is extremely valuable. Another tactic is to implement the tech of other ecosystems right here on Polkadot. Like the team at Composable using Cosmos's IBC to connect the Polkadot and Kusama relay chains. I tested out their Centauri beta bridge yesterday to pool KSM and DOT on their Pablo decks. The user experience was definitely beta. I had to bridge DOT across two networks works, KSM across one, a lot of clicks, a few failed transactions, some dust loss along the way. It took about 15 minutes, but it works. And this proof of concept lays the foundation for the trustless mingling of Cosmos and Polkadot assets coming soon. Definitely check out the Sama Space from yesterday featuring Brain Jar and Jake from Dowdow. Dow. And finally, it looks like the Web2 social media platform MeWe is ready to onboard their 20 million members onto Polkadot's L1 frequency chain. And then I actually walked into another Space Monkeys interview with Braxton Woodham from Frequency. It was an amazing interview, but I have no idea what happened to the clip where I explained it to you, <laughs> Beanin. Did you participate in the racer trainings? Exiled racers rewards are now unlockable. Big Country has some memory improvements and free voxel building. Chaos Land Marketplace shows surging activity. Let's go games splashing around. Sama going to ETH with Moonsama Parachain launch around the corner. Pond Sama Battles, NFT 2.0 Customizer, Exosama Teaser all around the corner. Did you get your moon bag? Their battle engine sounds particularly interesting. And don't forget to play the new beat pressure level. Ayuna will be at Fantasy Basil. Also, Juan. Singular is calling for artists on their launch on Moonbeam. Spacers gives a little progress update. Buddies publishes chapter 3 of their comic. Cosmize updates their avatars and is testing on iOS. Unique introduces Unity SDK and Unique Mobile. Moonwalkers got a play pass to Glimmer Apes Beta. AI animals in Neuroverse. Multi-chain DPS voting coming soon. A Starcast gets a 3D avatar. NFTs in Prague artist competition winner is Remark Punks. Dgen's onboarding to Pokeverse. Toku NFT is minting on Kusama with Codadot. Heal 3 is on a Star's Dap staking with a campaign in progress. Moonfit's clan wars are in hot contest. I wonder who this could be referring to. Inkwell is looking to launch an NFT yield farm. SFY Labs is raffling a Canaria secondary resource. And you can equip the parent to another parent now with Tricky's GG's. Finally, Codadot has launched a proposal for funding Remark 2 support on their marketplace. Weigh in on if you feel like having a Kusama Remark 2.0 marketplace is important for the preservation of Kusama NFTs. Looking at you, C Saint. Uh... As we navigate the auctions on the assisted chains, Polkadot has taken its sweet time in the wake of Akala's crazy win for the 43rd slot while in March, Peak and Sora strategized for the next auction. Over on Kusama, Big Country takes the 84th slot with ease, securing another slot to build on their 3D metaverse as a service vision for about a year. On to other news as EZA, an award-winning app, breaks down the intricacies of Polkadot through an interactive quest to gain NFTs and move up the leaderboard with 30,000 in Dada's rewards. And it looks like there's a few pair chains to unlock too. Go, go, go! Goku breaks down the intricacies of parody in the Web3 Foundation's incredible contributions to Polkadot through the lens of Jay's recent interviews, Crust and Subsocial partner up to keep their UX-friendly grill chat as decentralized as possible, and Centrifuge's TVL is almost half a billy now. Zenlink's mega aggregator and new UI are now live looking slick. Composable Finance is connecting the dots with Polkadot pair chains like Bifrost to call in a star in this Twitter space. Moonbeam is welcoming Uniswap v3 and is kicking off a bear market hackathon soon with partners from multi-chain and AWS startups. I see you, wormhole. Zygeist is looking at adding a USDT option. Manta's wallet usage is taking off along with their ZK soulbound tokens. And finally, it looks like Talisman will be integrating the Saturn SDK from the minds of the Invarge team. Pretty crazy week, huh? Have a great weekend, everybody.